All right, going to go through some of these very idiotic tweets about the whole Kyle Rittenhouse uh, trial, where he was very clearly defending himself in self-defense, but the, of course, the triggered social liberals don't want to uh, mention that. They just want to say, oh, he's guilty, and you got some of them calling for gun control. It's like, uh, you know, self-defense is actually a very cherished right, but, of course, liberals don't like self-defense. Social liberals, they hate the concept of self-defense. Going on a tangent right now, but... I'm just going to show some of the... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. It had a bit of a cold. But I'm going to show some of these tweets about the whole Kyle Rittenhouse case, just showing the, some of the idiocy of these tweets, and just showing that he is, he was acting in self-defense. Okay, here is a tweet from uh, Tariq Nasheed, the Muslim, uh, I think is mayor of, of the city of London. You know, you got a Muslim who's running the city of London, but here, here's what he says. Opening remarks begin today in the trial of a suspected white supremacist killer, Kyle Rittenhouse. Um... He wasn't a white supremacist killer, okay? He was he was literally on the ground and they're gonna stink and kick his face in and he defended himself. Okay? You see, mostly social liberals, they live in these big high luxury mansions. They don't know what it's like to go through every single life. They, they don't like what it's they don't they don't know what it's like, I'll say it this way, to go through normal life, the hardships of normal life, and then when someone defends themselves, because they live in this stinking privilege all day long, they they just say, Oh, you're a white supremacist killer. Hey, hey, you know, if someone attacked, and not to mention both of his victims were white people, by the way, too. And one of them was a stinking convicted pedophile. But, uh, oh, he's a white supremacist killer. You know, white supremacy is just a little buzzword these people like using to try to discredit anyone when they legitimately act in self-defense or when they legitimately do something because, oh, the victim just happened to be with, with the stinking terrorist group Black Lives Matter. That might be too real for some people to take, but it's just a blunt and brutal truth. You can like it or lump it, plain and simple. He says uh, the narrative that Rittenhouse illegally showed up with a gun because he wanted to. The narrative that illegally, sorry, the narrative that Rittenhouse illegally showed up with a gun because he wanted to protect businesses is ridiculous. It appears that he was looking for an opportunity to ambush somebody. Um, have you actually seen the video there, Tariq Nasheed? Have you actually even seen the video? He was actually being attacked and jumped by these stinking lunatics, these devil-possessed lunat, these devil-filled lunatics. Who are associated with Black Lives Matter, and he defended himself. Not to mention how how one of the attackers had a pistol. Do these people even bother even watching the video? Yeah, I am ranting right now because this is just ridiculous. This just the ignorance, the willful ignorance of these people is insane. Now I got this uh, harlot over here, Shannon Watts, who is constantly for gun control and taking away your right to bear arms, which is you know just like any good fascist or communist would do. Uh, so she says, new, a juror was just removed from the Kyle Rittenhouse trial after he asked a courtroom deputy, quote, why did the Kenosha police shoot Jacob, Jacob Blake seven times because they ran out of bullets? The judge said the joke showed poor taste and racial bias. Well, you're going to see some examples of flipping racial bias in some of these next tweets I'm going to show. Because they actually, these stinking liberals actually make fun. They say, oh, how come there wasn't any black people on the, on the jury trial? Uh, jury is, is randomly selected, okay? Just because there's no black people doesn't mean it's racial bias. I mean, they're gonna bring that up in some of these tweets later on. It just shows, shows the, the insanity that comes with these liberals, these social liberal lunatics, because they're gonna defend these devil-possessed, you know, freaks, essentially these devil-possessed lunatics who are just riding in the street and just causing problems. And they're gonna be like, oh, you know, how dare you defend yourself? And, the, and these Democrats are gonna raise bail for these people. So. White people can't defend themselves, but then if a black supremacist riot goes on, oh, we're going to raise bail for them. Again, just going off on a tangent, because this kind of stuff really ticks me off. It really gets me all fired up. But here is his next tweet from Shannon Watts. Uh, Anthony Harbour assumed that he was an active shooter in an active shooter situation and tried to save others by confronting Kyle Rittenhouse. Really? Have you actually seen the video there, Shannon Watts? Really? Oh, he was an active shooter. Oh, yeah, sure. No, he wasn't. He was being attacked. I'm gonna show the photos, by the way, too. Just gonna to show some of the photos after I get through the sweep. Because this kind of stuff really takes me off. How they do, how they're just willfully ignorant, and it just it's to the point of ridiculousness. Extremists, extremists want us to believe the kid was shooting people in the AR-15 is the hero, and the person trying to stop a shooting with a skateboard deserved to be killed. Um, why was he trying to stop it with a skateboard? Because he was trying to hit the kid with a skateboard. Um. Do we actually even bother to research things ourselves, or do we just believe everything the, the socially liberal narrative, the socially liberal propaganda machine, aka the media, tells us? Here is, here are some photos of the actual event. 
And let's see if, if this actually was self-defense, because it was self-defense, but let's see if the social the social liberal narrative, oh, oh, it wasn't self-defense. Let's see if that's accurate. Okay, here's one of the photos. So you see, uh, there's him on the ground, and there's this other lunatic, and it, look, one of them has a pistol right there. One of them right there has a pistol. Yes, it was self-defense. The people were not some kind of, oh, they're confronting an armed shooter. No, these guys were the active shooters, and Kyle Rittenhouse was just simply acting as self-defense. You see, these liberals, they hate the concept of just self-defense, and these same stinking liberals, they want to defund the police, but then not only do they want to defund the police, they want to take away your right to defend yourself. So you just got to take the beating from these devil-possessed lunatics over in Black Lives Matter. You know, that might be too real for some people to take, honestly. It could just be too real for you, but that's just a blunt and brutal reality, plain and simple, okay? You can like it or lump it. Let's continue. Uh, then you got him right there, one of the victims, victims. And look, he's holding a pistol. Yeah, real victim right there. Then you got, uh, there is him on the ground, Kyle Rittenhouse on the ground. And look, he's being hit with a skateboard. Okay. Yeah, he was definitely he was definitely the extremist there, sure. And here's another photo of him, this other devil possessed lunatic who's kicking him on the ground, and he's just simply defending himself. Um, you see, in that kind of situation, I guarantee, if I was in that kind of situation, I would shoot back too in self defense. It's just, just life, you know. You don't just let someone beat you up like that. Let's go through some of these tweets on this feed down here. Let me just make sure I'm full screen again. Yeah, let's go through some of these tweets down here of these uh, liberal lunatics who are, yeah, yeah, they are lunatics, by the way, just these liberal insane lunatics who are saying something, and not all of them are like that, but but here, here's an interesting meme right here about these two, two so-called victims of this Kyle Rittenhouse case. You got Joseph Rosenbaum, who dated single mothers, and he could so, so he, he could sodomize their young boys, convicted five times. So he's a stink, he's a, this guy is a stinking convicted pedophile, and, and they're saying, well, he's a hero, he's a victim. Sure. Let's continue. Actually, let me show the rest of the meme. Uh, Anthony Harbour kidnapped and suffocated women, convicted twice. Yeah, real victim right there. Uh, where are some of the other tweets? I saw some like really ridiculous, stupid tweets last night about the whole thing. Uh, where was the other one? I actually responded to a few of them myself on the... Oh, here's one. Kyle Rittenhouse claiming self-defense is like a is like is like a hunter saying he felt danger he felt in danger by the deer. What an idiotic comparison! Seriously, that's probably the most idiotic comparison I've ever seen. Plain and simple. Sorry, I keep hitting my table, but you just look at the photos. He was an actual he was an actual danger right there. He wasn't just oh it's it's like well I mean what just, just what an idiotic comparison. It's not even worth commenting on that. And yeah, you say why you're so fired up again. You know, if this is too real for you, just shut it off. Because this kind of stuff really ticks me off. Uh, and then notice how the FBI had... Um, no, no, why did the FBI sit on bombshell footage of the, from the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting that bolsters his case? Exactly. The FBI was covering up these, this bombshell footage. Oh, oh here, here, here's a funny, here's a stupid tweet. The Kyle Rittenhouse jury is sweat set and it includes one person of color. Sounds about white. Really? You know, again, you know that jury selection is, is random, right? They just randomly choose people from the jury. The, it just, if one, if, if one black person happened to be on there, okay, then one black person just happened to be randomly selected. Do you not know how jury selection works? Apparently not. If I always blame me, oh, it's white supremacy this, white supremacy that, liberals seem to think that there's, there's just white supremacy all over the place. It's ridiculous. It's stupid, and it's somewhat foolish, too. Uh, oops, I went too far up. Whereas, there's some more really funny tweets I saw. Yeah, that one right there, the one I just read. You can see a lot of them I actually retweeted. Yeah, they got yeah, they got the victim was a stinking convicted pedophile. But they don't wanna mention that. Oh here's one, here's one. Oh yeah. That that's one I read from um, uh Tariq Nasheed, the Muslim Oh here's one. Funny little tweet. load the thing up I'm sorry but this is a horrible headline in what possible scenario is Kyle Rittenhouse a hero uh, maybe for the fact that he shot a, a stinking pedophile or maybe for the fact that he was just 
enacting his constitutional right of self-defense, which is something that social liberals seem to despise and hate these days. Uh, yeah, exactly. Self-defense is a right, not a privilege. It, yeah, it, it's your constitutional right of self-defense. Oh, here, here's a here's a funny one. Oh wait, never mind. I already read that one. Oops. It was that one from that that Harlot Shannon Watts. Yeah, exactly. They're not giving the victims much time because they were both wicked devils. Uh, and then look, one of them's holding a pistol up right there. And I'm not gonna go through all these. These just, you can just just go on Twitter and just search up Kyle Rittenhouse, and all this these stinking tweets come up. Here, oh, here, here's a funny one. Here's a good one. I, I actually responded to this one on my Twitter page. Anyone else think Kyle Rittenhouse is acting like a stereotypical self-entitled privileged white boy who thinks he is better than everybody else? Um, what about the privileged black boys who think they can just do whatever they want, commit all the crimes they want, riot and burn down stinking stores, and then just, oh, we're going to raise bail. The Democrats are going to go raise bail for them. What about the privileged black boys out there? Okay, I'm not saying all black people, okay? I'm not saying all black people are like that. But there are, especially among the BLM crowd, okay, there are some pretty good black people out there, okay? There are some pretty fine black Christians out there, but among the BLM crowd, they're just a bunch of stinking devil-possessed lunatics who don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. They're a bunch of, of witches who like to cast summoning up spirits when they when they say, say her name, say his name, they chant somebody's name, they're summoning up devils. Whole other issue. But yo, privileged white boy. Yeah, privilege, as in, oh, he can't defend himself? You call that privilege? Um... Where is it? Yeah, they got, of course, a woman there saying. Let's try to get that one down. Do we all agree that Kyle Rittenhouse is guilty as, you know, bleep, the F word, Kyle Rittenhouse? Uh, no, I actually don't agree he's guilty as, you know, bleep. He's actually innocent. He is, he did nothing wrong, plain and simple. You just watch, just watch the video. It's all, it's all there. Uh, what else is there? Well, there's that guy again. What else is there? Oh, here it is. Here's a funny one I saw last night. Uh, or let's load it up. Right wingers making a point to say that Kyle Rittenhouse didn't carry the assault rifle across state lines. What the bleep difference does it make? He still crossed the state lines and brought them, and then brought an assault rifle. How much more intent do you do you bleeping need, Kyle Rittenhouse? Um, intent. What intent are you referring to? Are you referring to the intent of, of being hit by a skateboard and having a gun pointed at him and just shooting in self defense? Is that the intent you're referring to? bunch of, of, you know, lunatics, bunch of idiots who just don't do their research. And this is just kind of just my rant for the day. Uh, believe me, I'm not always like this. This is just my rant. It just gets me fired up. Uh, does anyone else think that, oh, look at this one. Here's a good one. Here's a, here's a funny one I saw last night as well. Make sure full screen. Yeah, I am. Does anyone else think that, does anyone else agree that victims of Kyle Rittenhouse deserve justice? Uh, victims? You mean a stinking, you mean a stinking convicted pedophile and a guy who, who tried to sodomize a stinking child? You, you think that's a victim? Yeah, sure. You see how they always try to, they always try to, um, absolve the, the so-called victims of any responsibility. They were both were wicked devils, who are probably both in hell right now. And I get no joy out of saying that. Okay, I don't rejoice when somebody goes to hell. But they're both were probably wicked devils, who were convicted criminals who were unrepentant. And again, I get no joy out of saying that. I, I, I grieve when, you know, wicked people go to hell, because God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. You can read about that in... I think it's Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11, Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23, and Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 32, if I'm not mistaken. I think those are the verses, if I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, what else is there? Let me just yeah, make sure I'm full screen again. Uh, oh, here's another one. Here's I think I from that same one. So 
So it says, um, Ricky Schroeder calling for violence on Veterans, Veterans Day is bleeped up. But then, but then so is him killing Kyle Rittenhouse, bailing Kyle Rittenhouse out of jail. He can shove his silver spoon up his bleep sideways. Again, just total ignorance of the actual situation, which is not surprising coming from liberals, social liberal um, nutcases. Uh, where is it? Let me just... Where... Oh, let me just make sure I'm full screen. Am I full screen again? Yeah, there we go. Oh, here, here's, a, here's a stupid tweet right here. Look at this stupid one. Here's a funny one right here. We better get bulletproof vests for anyone, everyone who may carry a, a skateboard because Kyle Rittenhouse lawyer says it's okay to shoot the one, someone who has one. Those uh, treacherous tiny wheels, it was too much for little Kyle. Uh, do you actually see the photos? Let me just show you the photos once again. Look at that, they're trying to kick him on the floor and they're, they're hitting him with a skateboard. I mean, what, what, a, what just an idiotic thing to say. Seriously, there's no nice way to put it, just idiotic. Uh, ooh, I went. Make sure I'm full screen next time I show the tweet. <sighs> yeah. And the kid's only seven the kid's like only 17 years old too. You know? Kind of you know, it's like it's like ridiculous. He's only he's only he's only 17 years old. And let me just do full screen again. <clears throat> Sorry to lose my voice now, because I'm yelling so loud. <laughs> yeah, most of these tweets are actually in support of Kyle Rittenhouse, I've noticed. Yeah, never mind. So yeah, most of these tweets are just simply supporting him. So yeah, but some of those tweets that just showed, the tweets that just basically showed you right now are just some of the most stupid stuff I've ever seen from liberals on Twitter. And believe me, I've seen some pretty ridiculous things from liberals on Twitter. This pretty much tops the cake. Plain and simple. Uh, the guy was acting in self-defense. Plain and simple. Okay, you just watch the video, look at the photos. He was, he was being attacked by these these devil-filled lunatics, and he acted accordingly in self-defense. You see, you don't, you don't attack somebody who has a gun. Plain and simple. Okay? It's just basic logic. That might be too real for some people, that might be too hardcore, that might be just too blunt and brutal in your face for someone to take, but that's just that's just what happens. Plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived by all the social liberal insanity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.